My name is Mujerman and welcome aboard the ship's in. Let's start off by congratulating seniors Koei Kiryuki and Eiffel Wong and juniors Cassidy Hamilton and Journey Streams for being selected to attend this year's Commission on the Status of Women event in New York this March. This year's theme, Women's Empowerment and Environmental Sustainability. We wish you ladies and Journey the best of luck. Also, we are dead smack in the middle of Black History Month, a time to honor the glorious stories of spirit, tenacity, and rising up for what is right. As always, the PPA has worked hard to set up this year's Black History Month Museum. So, if you have some time, go check it out. Oh, and congrats to the select few who were chosen to be a part of the CAIS Honor Band last week. Pilgrim students are very committed to giving back. Keeping in line with this attitude, a couple weekends ago, Ms. Salas and ASB's Community Outreach Committee organized a trip to the LA Regional Food Bank. There they worked with other groups in the region to organize and package fresh produce to then be distributed to those who need it. Last Friday was a 2016 winter formal. Students whipped, dabbed, and occasionally quanned their way through the night. And though it was a small dance, everyone seemed to have a lot of fun. This past Monday, the Mayflower House Pilgrim School's dorm, a home away from home for many of our students, threw a Lunar New Year celebration. Let's take a look at how that went. Hello everyone, I'm Edward. Welcome to the Chinese New Year celebration. On this day, more than 1.4 billion people celebrate this festival as their most important day of the year. In China, we have 12 different animals and each year, this year is the year of the monkey. traditional and original Chinese New Year celebration you have ever seen. This year, after days of discussion and planning, we are glad to present you the Mayflower version of Chinese New Year celebration. In the morning, we will make dumplings as well as teaching Chinese one class. We will also cook our homemade dumplings in different flavors and eat them afterwards. At the end of school, we will invite students and teachers to the dorm. We will organize some special games. We will also provide delicious Chinese food to the guests. This celebration is organized by Pilgrim Chinese Club. If you are interested in Chinese culture or just want to know more about China, please stay updated to the Chinese Club. We will organize more activities to let you know more about Chinese culture. This is it for this time. See you next time! Like they say, there is no party like a Lunar New Year party. With a four day weekend coming up and the high school ski trip soon to follow, students are preparing to take things slow during the break. Let's go to Antonia with the outside world and a look into what the prospective ski trip attendees can be expecting. Welcome back to the outside world. Unfortunately, Lulu couldn't be here today, but I know she wishes she could. So today we're going to make the lives of all the high schoolers going on the high school ski trip a lot more fun by giving you information about cool and fun things to do up in Big Bear. I actually went up to Big Bear this weekend to get some first-hand experiences, and here's what I found.
course, those aren't the only fun activities to do up there, but those are just a few of my favorite. Also, Big Bear is not exclusively for high schoolers going on the ski trip. Middle schoolers and elementary students can go up anytime, just not exactly with the high schoolers yet. Also, just a reminder, the high schoolers are leaving at 12.30 on Thursday the 18th from the church forecourt and will be returning on Saturday around 1, hopefully. Um, and that's it for this week. I hope you guys have an amazing Valentine's Day on Sunday and we'll see you next time. Thanks, Antonia. Next, let's go to another segment of Inside the Classroom to check out the music department with Mr. Turo, who is always working hard to make beautiful melodies with the jazz band. Uh, my name is Mr. Turo, and I teach jazz high school jazz band, middle school band, high school concert band, and I also teach fourth grade general music, and I teach fifth grade beginning band. Right now we're playing, uh, I don't want to give away uh, what we're doing in our concert, so you'll have to come to our concert to find out. I'm excited about a lot of them. Well, uh, jazz band, you should, the students should already know what they're doing, know the basics of music theory and things like that, and we use a lot of uh, improvisation. Whereas in uh, concert band, we just, most, we're reading music. Hey, my name is Ethan Lower, and I play the drums in the high school jazz band. I am probably the most excited to learn Oye Como Va. It's a Latin piece, pretty cool, good drum beat. My favorite piece this year would probably be Chameleon. It's a funk jazz tune, it's very fun to play. In, in jazz band, you have a lot more freedom, in a sense, you don't have to play very robotically. You have ways that you can play your own little riffs and kind of explore the music more than concert band, which is more stick to the paper and play what you're supposed to. And that takes us to the end of this episode. My name is Mojramon, thanks for watching, and we'll see you here next time on The Ship's In. Keep sailing, Pilgrim School.